Welcome back. My name is Preston. I am from Canada. But I have been living in South Korea, Seoul, for the past three years. And we have recently moved out of Seoul to the West Coast. And this is a new city, so we got new building. The building we were living in was very old, and you could definitely see it in the tour I'm about to give you. Please forgive me because I was very, very tired that day because I was filming literally as I was moving. So I was sweating and I was tired. All right, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, guys, so this has been something I've been wanting to do for a long time is give you a house tour. So this is where we live. And oh, just locked myself out and I don't have my keys. But that's okay. These are the key locks. And you put your password in there. You're in. So let's go take a look at this place. All right, so we are inside. And let's just start with what we got. We are in the hallway right now. And we got some cupboards over here, which is nice. We keep a lot of the cleaning supplies in here in terms of like cleaning equipment, brooms, vacuums, etc., and duster, and then all of our extra shoes that we don't wear too often. Over here, we also keep our luggage because this place is not that big when you're coming from Canada. And also, we didn't organize very well when we first moved in. We just kind of just accumulated stuff and like did not plan. So this place is messy and now it's even more messy because we are moving. We are moving to a new place and that is why I am showing you our place and kind of keeping track of it for the memories. Let's start with the main area. This is like the living room slash we use it as our bedroom over here. The best part about this place is definitely the view. Starville right in Mokdong and it is old this building is was built in 2003 2004 and I have nothing against old buildings but this place was so dirty when we moved in this place was super dirty when we moved in we literally had rice on the ceiling and like stains on the wall and whatever like it wasn't that bad but like it wasn't that great either a lot of the stuff that we have here um, we kind of just like took it from other teachers when they're moving out or if they didn't need it like this TV over here that we got Oh, this beautiful TV shout out Marissa. Thank you. And um, This is kind of Nyan's working area where she teaches and there's our little Family picture that keeps her going during those tough teaching days this bed we have over here This bed it was um, actually kindly given to us by our school when we first came here. It was literally, literally when we came here, we only had a bed, blankets, no bed sheets, and two really crappy pillows, to be honest, which we got rid of. Good bed, kept it, so we like it. So in Korea, they have like recycled furniture stores and that's like one of the first places we went and we got like three chairs, two of them we threw up by now because they kind of like didn't match, took up too much space, we didn't use them. And this one survived, We I use this one all the time. Super comfy. So yeah, so this is like the uh, living room area and it's also connected to the kitchen over here. It comes with this cabinet where we keep like all the dishes and glassware, spoons, forks, etc. And then we have up here, right? And we put all of our spices here, but look, this thing does not hold up. It has been so annoying for the whole year. We have the cooking area, which is super dirty. Don't look. And it's a gas burning stove over here, which I like. It's kind of cool. The fire heats up the things really quickly, I find. And laundry is over there, washing machine is over there, and good solid washing machine. I think it's really old, but it actually works really well. And I know some of the other washing machines in this building do not work so well, so pretty helpful, pretty happy for that. Also, this place came with an AC. Now this AC is super old and it is like falling apart on us. So yeah, we cleaned it twice in the last three years that we've been here. Not cleaning it again. I think it's dirty again. I don't know how it happens. Now let's go check out the bedroom. So this is the this is a one bedroom unit. I use it mainly for like a small office space and like I play my guitar here, and uh, we dry laundry here as well. So that's nice. And this huge closet over here, right? And it looks big, and it is pretty big, but like it really wasn't big enough for all of our stuff. It was cramped in here. I had like shirts and pants like stacked to the ceiling pretty much. And then Nyan used like this for her stuff. And then over here, 
We used to hit to keep like electronics, medical stuff over here. We still have it there. We haven't packed that yet. And uh, the knickknacks over here. And here we hung up some coats and stuff that we weren't using during the winter, during the summertime, or whatever. And we kept one of our luggage pieces up there. So we made it work. We made it work. Nice little room. It's good to have. Like if you're living with two people, I think it's good to have like an extra one bedroom for just you know when you need your own space. Just fine. Everybody needs your own space. I don't know if you can see this thing. Da -da 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 -da. That is me, Nyan, and Toby. <laughs> so we went to the Cherry Blossom Festival and we saw a guy and he was doing sketches. Basically we messed up and went to the guy who made like this. And we're like, it's nice, but this is not what we wanted. <laughs> we wanted something that looked a little bit more realistic. <laughs> also, he, he, made, he made me white. Boys and girls, I am not a white man. This is not me. But yeah, that's what happened. Anyways, let's go check out the bathroom. So here we go. We have the toilet. And then we have this cabinet over here and a mirror there. And it's so dumb. This mirror should have been a cabinet because then you have more space to put things, but like they didn't do that. So that's it. And this place was absolutely filthy when we came here. Like we had to get this thing changed. It was out, it was black. It was actually black when we uh, came here. And so we asked the owner after two years, we asked the owner, can you change it? And we should have asked earlier because they sent somebody to check up on it, see if it just needed to be fixed. And they are like, nah, this thing's dirty. So they fixed it, and that's good. And then we have the shower over here. Over here. And I just want to point out something. We do not drink the water from the tap because this is a filter. And as you can see, it's white here because we just changed this not too long ago. And I want to show you what happens after like two months of using a filter like that in this, in this place. Yeah, this is absolutely filthy. This was white. This is like completely white, and now it's brown, gross, dirty, yellow. Ugh. So, I want my Canadian drinking water because I honestly I drink Canadian tap water all day, every day. But I don't know about this stuff. Even Toby, like Toby is our tester. Toby is our tester. We have put water in a bowl for Toby, and he won't he won't he won't touch it. He won't drink it. He'll be dying of thirst, and he will not drink that water. As soon as we put in bottled water, he'll drink it. And he wasn't like that in Canada, he would drink the tap water, like no problem. Here, mm -mm, he wouldn't touch that. He smells the rust in it, he smells the dirt in it. That boy picky, that princess is picky. But yeah, we are so excited to move. We've been living at this place for like three years now. And it is just about time to like get out of here. Because we've been complaining about this place for a while, but we've been kind of lazy to move. And then Toby's kindergarten was close by to here. But now we don't really like that kindergarten anymore. Because there was like a whole like drama that happened there. And so it's kind of like, there's nothing really keeping us here. A lot of our friends have moved away from here anyways. And so it's like, let's just go to like somewhere where we can get a nicer place for like similar price, which we're doing. And the maintenance fees here are just ridiculous, like stupid crazy. Our last bill was almost $300 and we didn't even use the heat that much. So it's like, what are we even paying for? It's just kind of like, this place seems kind of scammy. But we're, we're leaving this city, Seoul. Mokdong area and we're going to Incheon, which is like close to the airport really close to the ocean And it's in a big city area too, a newly developed city. So like the building that we're moving into is like 2018 so it's like super new and this building is like 2004 so it's super old even though I'm 1991 So I'm really old, but I'm really gonna miss this view This view is definitely my favorite thing and it really kept me going at this place I'm like I really love this view. I hope you enjoyed our, my little tour of our old place Now it's gonna be our old place because we are moving tomorrow tomorrow is moving day We are gonna be packing tonight well into the night because we like we have so much crap We actually have just so much crap so yeah, we're packing tonight and moving to a new place tomorrow and that's gonna be a whole nother challenge just setting up that place. So as you can see that place was maybe not too bad or maybe very bad. To me looking at it now that place was terrible and I cannot believe we stayed there for as long as we stayed there. It's just ugh, do you see the water? Ugh, I do not have that problem here. Big takeaway is if you're living in Seoul, just expect to pay more money for everything, including your housing. And if you leave that big city of Seoul, just on the outskirts, you can even go to other big cities like Busan, Daegu, Daegon. Daegon? That's not a place. Busan, Daegu, Daejeon. 
you are going to be able to find something that is cheaper and probably better because it's going to be newer. You know, newer isn't always better, but so so far from what I've seen, it is when it comes to the buildings in Korea. And if you are somebody who's looking to rent a place, you're going to need about $10,000 at least in key money to get a decent place. You can get away with five or three, but if you get that 10 digit, you're going to really open up the market for yourself. And then we pay around a thousand dollars a month after everything for this place. And in Seoul, it was more like $1,100. So expensive. That's it for this one. If you liked the video, please smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Later. Disaster, just disaster. Moving into this place, moving out of this place. Oof. Ready to go again? Oh yeah.